the lady from Ankara. International Affair. The lady from Ankara. The lady. Hi, today I'm going to take a look at signing into a Google account when you've forgotten its password or at least trying to sign in. Um, you can do this pretty much from any Google product, but I choose to do it from YouTube and I'm going to click on sign in at the top right hand side. I'm going to enter the email address that I want to recover and I'm going to click on next. Now this is where it gets tricky. I don't actually remember the password. So I can't enter it and I can't click next. So I'm going to click on forgot password. And right away, I'm being told that I can get a verification code to the phone number that I added to my Google account. And this is indicative of the fact that this particular Google account has been secured with a, a recovery phone number. Now, Usually I would expect to see try another way down here, but for some reason I have the option I don't have my phone. Now this could be because the handset itself is known to Google to be used for this particular Google account, but I can't be 100% certain. Okay, let's look at this. What if you have a recovery phone number, but it's not active? Uh, mobile phone numbers are changed quite frequently, so we don't always keep them for years on end. So let's then use the I don't have my phone option. And here I am being asked to use a verification code sent to a recovery email address, which I clearly have added to my Google account. So what if I can't actually use the recovery email address that I've entered. I then have the option to try another way or I could at least enter it and press send and that way at least Google knows that I know the recovery email address even if I can no longer use it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click try another way and here I'm being asked to receive a verification code to another recovery email address that I have added to my Google account. So this Google account has one mobile recovery phone number and two recovery email addresses. So in theory, I should be able to recover it with one of these three options, and hopefully. Let's say though that I no longer have use of this recovery option either, in which case that all that remains for me is to click try another way. I could of course, as I said before, enter the recovery email address if I recognize it and click send and a code would be sent even if I can't receive it. That might help. So I'm going to click try another way. And now I'm being told that I could not be signed in because obviously I've not been able to use either of my three recovery options. And the reason I mentioned um, entering at least entering the, the phone numbers, uh, phone number and the two recovery emails is going to be addressed here. There is a link here that says more tips to recover your account. So before you try again, I do recommend that you read this because even if it doesn't give you a definitive answer, it might give you some hints about things that could be helpful. There are some things that are not going to make sense because particularly this one here, answer as many questions as possible. I was not asked any questions. I was literally just told to receive a code to my mobile phone number and my two recovery email addresses. So this is why I suggest that entering the recovery email address, even if you can't use it, might be helpful. Then it does mention that a familiar device and location is really good. And that goes for um, also a Wi-Fi network. So not just your geographical location. Bear in mind, of course, that this is very generic and it covers all bases. I was not asked for a last password, but it does say if you're asked for the last password, then enter the most recent one you recall. So this article covers all bases. So do bear that in mind and do answer the questions that you are asked or enter the details that you are asked to receive codes to. It can't do any harm. And then, unfortunately, also bear in mind that 
if all else fails and in, in my case it might very well if I don't have access to any of my three recovery options then I have to consider that it's lost to me and my only option is to create a replacement Google account and then there's a link here to take me on to that. So let's go back to this. Um, I've now read the tips to recover my Google account and with that armed with that information I can then try again. So if we start over I am going to click try another way and I'm being told that I have to receive a code to my mobile phone number. I don't have my phone. I'm again being asked to receive a code to my first recovery email address. I don't have it. And I'm being told to re receive a code to my second recovery email address. And I don't have that. So basically, I'm just going round and round. And this is where you've got to sort of decide whether entering the the redundant or the inaccessible um, recovery email addresses might actually help. Just a note on um, third party recovery email addresses, which in my case both are. If you are using a service like Yahoo or Hotmail, these online um, email services, they do quite often have a window for recovery, which can be as long as two years. So do try to see whether you can get your email address back because if you can receive a code to it, the chances are much higher that you can recover access. So hopefully that helps you and thank you for listening and goodbye.